What's going on? How are you guys today? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. And this might be the first week where the positives outweigh the negatives. Although, I'm always trying to stay positive. Something bad seems to be a requirement. Last week, I just had some issues with the UPS billing out another thousand or $2,000. I try not to think about it or focus on it at all. But this week, I'm happy because the jerky is officially for sale. Some of you guys already purchased quite a bit of it towards the end of last week. We have bone-in ribeye as well as bone-in strip steaks, aka porterhouse, which are two things I've been trying to get for a while. You know, I've always thought, hey, what's the point of having a boneless ribeye or a boneless New York strip steak when you can just keep the bone on? Because normally they just scrap it. We also have the local beef in. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it fresh. The guy didn't listen to me. Hold debacle, but uh, we will have our grass-fed local beef back available probably this Thursday or Friday. I just have to organize it. It's wrapped in paper. It's super, super fresh. It's incredibly delicious. I, I had some of it last night. Really, really amazing stuff. And I'm looking forward to once I get my own meat packing operation slaughterhouse, whatever you want to call it, that we're only doing the local New York beef. It's definitely different flavor wise, but I, I do like it a bit more and we have more control over the freshness of the product. Uh, let me show you guys what I had as my breakfast morning snack because I didn't eat dinner last night and I didn't sleep too well because usually I have to have something in my stomach to eat. So. Uh, the main thing I was looking forward to when I came in today was this snack. Uh, so this is the jerky I was eating. We have it packaged in four ounce packages. Right now we have no salt as well as salt. I think we might just do no salt because you know once you remove that much water content from the beef, it's super flavorful and delicious. The only issue is the amount of labor <laughs> that it takes to cut uh, the beef like this you know it's it's really really thin it's nice and small you can take bites out of it very easily that being said i had three guys down here for two days straight just to do like uh 50 or 60 pounds of jerky so that's why we're charging about 15 dollars for four ounces the other reason is because we're not putting anything in it it's just beef these other jerky companies especially like this whole foods jerky it has so many ingredients in it and half the weight of it is probably the seasonings and spices so that's why they're able to get away with charging so little and this tastes like crap this even this which is one of my favorite products that tastes horrible compared to this jerky it's so clean the flavor is so good and there's nothing in it and i'm really happy and comfortable that when i eat this product as a snack i'm not compromising on anything it's 100 percent grass-fed beef that's it you know when i have these cliff bars the so i mean the soft dried apples are one thing, the Cliff Bars have a lot of additives, but this is just something that helps me keep my diet cleaner and just feeling better in general. So we do have the jerky available on frankiesfreerangefoods.com if you guys would like to try it out. And I've mentioned before, I would love to sell the jerky on frankiesfreerangemeat.com, but the problem is you guys are gonna order 10 of them with a bunch of steaks, and then I have to put jerky in a box that has ice in it, and I lose a ton of money on shipping. So uh, frankiesfreerangefoods.com, we have discount codes, we have free shipping over a certain price, and we also have a bunch of other high quality non-perishable products, such as our pemmican, which is just dried ground beef, tallow, honey, and blueberries, a little bit of salt, incredibly high quality, amazing snack. We have the best bars as usual in berry, vanilla, and chocolate. There's all the jerky we have a decent amount for this week. I've been drinking the water kefir. I have the plain here as well as the lemon lime ginger. Both are incredibly delicious i enjoy them a lot and i've said this many times as well if the kefir is made properly and you drink it it should make you happy that's why i've had so many of you guys returning and buying this product if you don't want to buy the actual kefir itself i think we still have some grains available somewhere down here or we just ran out yeah we have some kefir grains left oh and i actually have to remember to take some of these home because uh, eat, eating the grains gives you the same effect as drinking the kefir you feel good you feel happy uh, but this is, you know, $13, $14, whereas you get two bottles of kefir, which is a much higher volume. I would say it's about the equivalent probiotic content. So whether you buy the kefir grains or the kefir itself, it's a good investment. I like eating both. Yesterday I came in, I cut all of our bone and ribeye steaks on the bandsaw, which the technician came and he got it up and running. I'm not a good judgment of machines. I, I couldn't really tell how old this thing was when I purchased it, but the guy said it was pretty old. Thankfully, he's basically a genius and just 
charged me 250 to fix it. Uh, we still got to get a quote on the HVAC systems. He's got to fix the heat in here because it is a little cold. So let's go inside the freezer and let me show you guys our, our bone and steaks. I got my two guys in here. They're just finishing up the orders for this week. It's Thanksgiving week. So my main concern was getting out all of the orders on Monday that are going to California, Texas, the further states. And that's our main focus. So today, we're getting those out and then tomorrow we're going to do the New York, the local orders and hopefully everything arrives before Thanksgiving because last week I had a few package delays and I lost a lot of money and I was very unhappy about that. And I, I might be switching over to FedEx, but I don't know. It's just, you know, you lose money whether you're shipping FedEx or UPS and they don't want to pay you back anything. So the porterhouse steaks are about one and three quarter pounds. I showed you guys these last week. These are really, really nice. New York strip, filet mignon. As you guys know, we have been selling in bone and ribeye steaks, but since the bandsaw is up and running, we have a more reasonable size. Instead of having, you know, two or three pound, these gigantic thick bone and ribeye steaks, now we have more manageable. They're around a pound, a pound and a quarter. So these are definitely good for dinner or whatever. This is 1.2 pounds. This is 1.2 pounds. And it's much nicer because you know people are comfortable spending twenty dollars on a steak instead of forty or fifty, which is kind of crazy. And it's interesting to me because if you try to buy bone-in ribeye or porterhouse steaks like that anywhere else online, they usually don't have them. If they do have them, they're super expensive. And that being said, almost always grain-fed. So having one hundred percent grass-fed bone-in steaks at this price, no one else is doing it online. So hopefully, we can continue that. So we already got one pallet of orders out here. I had one of my new employees do all of the non-perishable orders yesterday. So this is Frankie's Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi Shielding, everything. The post office should come soon. Some more orders for today we got over here. My guys are a little behind. We have a lot of berry best bars and pemmican to put away. And then we also have to make the chocolate best bars this week. I got to see if these guys want off for Thanksgiving. They're kind of crazy, so they like working seven days a week. So maybe they will work on Thanksgiving. We got our deliveries in for a lot of things. We got more newsprint, some bubble wrap, plenty of styrofoam coolers. So I'm trying my best to keep up on inventory. My brain just completely fried. It's Hard to stay on top of everything. I feel like I talk about the marrow bones every week. They were released from cold storage over the weekend. So now I'm trying to get in touch with the cold storage company to arrange the pickup from the logistics company. So they weren't picking up the phone. And then I got to call, find a logistics company that'll ship it over. They got to call them. Hopefully I can get it this week. Probably not. Marrow bones probably come in next week and it's just a big job because it's like 4,000 pounds of marrow bone. So I'm going to be on the band saw all day. I just want to get it done and over with because <sighs> it's been like seven months now getting these goddamn marrow bones. I think I show you guys this every week. We don't really have any updates for organ supplements. I made sure that we had everything stocked up for a couple months because I was planning on taking a vacation, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Same with all of the, the bovine powders and the uh, masticum. We have everything in stock. Maybe I'll do a video on this stuff this week. If not, probably a video on meat cuts and stuff. Plenty of Mountain Valley water for the water kefir. Wi-Fi shielding. I think I told you guys last week the package for the winter clothing is delayed. So I think we might have the, the sweats around early January if my tailor can do them when the fabric comes in. We'll see. Frankie's Naturals, nothing new going on. I got to make some deodorant and some lip balm. It looks like we're finally running low. I mean, on one hand, I'm kind of happy I don't have to do as much work for the naturals and the Wi-Fi shielding, but we don't really get that many orders. So, I mean, I'm kind of tired of this, guys. You know, I'm doing all these different things just to try to make as much money as possible so that I can get the business to the point where I'm comfortable with the product I'm providing with everyone. And yeah, I know what I'm doing right now is better than just about every meat company out there, but when I have the farm, when I have the slaughtering operation, when we're doing the eggs and the dairy, and we have that type of stuff, and then just like a kitchen to do all of the value added products, the charcuterie, the stocks, like beef broth, bone broth, and just drastically increase the profit margin, stuff like pet food. We'll get there eventually. It's just, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't want to give up before I get there, but I don't know. It's already been a couple of years and, uh, the way things go wrong every week, it's hard to stay optimistic. But thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you guys really like the jerky. Let me know. Definitely send me an email if you try it out, how it is, how it compares to the other products you've had. Let me know how you guys like the lemon, lime, ginger, water kefir, or if you prefer the plain stuff. 
and uh, that should be it. Hopefully in a couple weeks we get the marrow bones, we might have some other steaks and other cuts of meat, other organs, depending on what the availability is. But right now, it doesn't look like it. So you guys can go to frank-chapon.com to see all of my businesses, including Frankie's Syringe Meat. I didn't talk about it at all today, but the best burger reviews are still going strong. We're doing videos 3 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, if you wanna check out best burger reviews. If you can please drop a like on the video because, I mean, you can't dislike, YouTube removed it. Uh, leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks for joining me, guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow.